What's up? My name is Afi Elizabeth. If this is your first time tuning in, hey, how are you doing? You're most definitely welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, sis, you already know the vibes. What a do, baby? I hope you're doing well. Today's video, we're doing another ponytail. Come on, somebody. You better say it like you excited. Another, another ponytail. ponytail. Okay, sis, so we're going to do another ponytail. The difference between this video and all of my other ponytail tutorial is I am going to be reviewing two products in this video. One product is the <laughs> is a Sweetie a Choice Rich Dip. I can hear her, her voice. Rich Dip, tap, tap, tap in. <laughs> A uh, rich dip uh, edge fixer glued uh, maximum hold very cherry edge control we're going to be f reviewing this um, I'm a little surprised that I saw this on the beauty supply store where I was at normally they don't ship us stuff like this so when I saw it I tap tap grabbed it and paid for it but yeah it's supposed to be like a 24 hour hold um, it has biotin b7 infused into it so if you lost hair i'm pretty sure with the biotin in it it's also made to grow your hair out like your edges out because you know them wigs be pushing our hairline back okay so this might do the job hmm. so yeah um i saw it i had to get it so we tap 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 in and um yeah in the next product i'll be reviewing will be the a p h or G, uh, Shea Pro Leave-In Moisturizer. Um, this product right here. Um, I've been hearing a lot of good good things about this product. Well, not this product in general, but this brand. I actually thought about this style when I was in the shower. Like I pictured it in my head and everything. So we're gonna freestyle this ponytail, okay? I don't know how it's gonna look after I'm done, but let's just hope and pray to God. It comes out good in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. Mm. So, yeah, so <laughs> this is the first time we're gonna see what's going on underneath here. So, I look good. The confidence. <laughs> tap, tap, tap in. But, yeah, anywho, so yeah, this is how my hair looks like. We washed it yesterday, we did a little co wash. And it's been growing pretty lovely. Okay, so we're gonna use this bottle right here. Normally I put like conditioner and all that good stuff in it, but today we're just gonna use regular water. And um, so I have low porosity hair. What low porosity hair basically is, is hair that's really good with maintaining moisture during the day. Um, I can go for a whole two weeks and my hair will still stay the way it felt since day one. But it's hard for moisture to get in right away. So it gives it, you gotta give it time. But once it's in, <laughs> baby, we good, <laughs> okay? So um, yeah, I'm gonna use this Shea Pro Leave-In leave Moisturizer. We wanna take about this dip, we gonna tap that in. And we're going to start from away and work our way up. This video is dedicated to Twix Sweet. I don't even listen to her song, but I just like the tip, tip, tip in. <laughs> As far as this product, I am gonna say it's some really good product, okay? See, I'm low porosity, so for my hair to be able to observe a product, it takes a while. It's very moisturizing without feeling like it's overly um, moisturized, if that makes sense. Because there are some products where it feels like the more, you, like, it just feels like it's building, okay, on top of your hair. So this one doesn't feel like that at all, and I absolutely love it. I do, I really do. So next what we're gonna do, we're gonna tap, tap, tap in into the hairstyle. <laughs> tap, tap, tap in. I wish I could do it. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, no. So I'm going to, how I picture this hairstyle in the shower. Hopefully it comes out the way I picture it. So I'm gonna part the middle. So now, what I like to do when I do ponytails, especially since my hair is getting thick, <laughs> thick, I like to part my hair because when I'm applying the gel and I'm slicking it back, it works a lot better than slicking it all at once. So we're gonna start with the bottom, which is this part right here, and then we're going to 
cookie on this side. So we're preparing it for the slick, slick, slick ends. For some reason, I don't, I can't multitask when I'm doing a hairstyle video and a talking video. So I'm gonna do a voiceover as of right now. Um, so yeah, speaking of this detangler comb, I got this at the beauty supply store, but I will be sure to leave the link to this if I can find it on Amazon. I'm gonna try to find my affiliate link to this brush. You know, I'm gonna help you out and you help us out at the same time. You know, we family, right? We family, okay. So yeah, I like to part my hair when I do my slick back like I said before. It just gives it a nicer slick um, look, a neater slick look, especially if you have thick hair. I highly recommend you to do this um, type of step. Um, you, 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 gonna, you gonna find out for yourself. Just try this. Don't be hard headed. Try it. And yeah, we uh, tie a rubber band as we go like a nice little, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're gonna try the sweetie tap 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 in. I'm gonna tap into this smells so good. Um, so what I like to do with my first of all, this was seven dollars. It better be worth seven dollars. But what I like to do with my edge control is I do them use it for two different things. I use it to braid, actually three. I use it for braiding. And I use it for my edges, and I also use it for my slick back. So we're gonna test it for three of those things. Right now we're gonna use it for braiding, and then we're gonna use it for the slick back, just to touch, touch, touch it. That was bad. I'm gonna use it for my slick back just to lay all the fuzziness down. So, so far so good with the braiding. Oh my gosh, that's a pretty cute for the first time. Normally it takes me like 500 way time to do this. I'm going to now use it for my slickness of my hair. Wait, I'm gonna use it as a slick, you know, as a final touch, as a final touch. That's what I'm gonna do. So I know you see them edges, girl. The edges look nice. Okay, I know you see that. So this, the, um, Sweetie uh, edge control is actually a pretty good edge, edge control. I've been looking for edges, edges, girl, I got edges. But like I was saying, I've been looking for edge control that will last me 24 hours. Like they always say on the bottle, it's gonna last you 24 hours, but it never lasts you 24 hours. It lasts you like three hours and then it stops. Maybe 15 minutes or longest. But this one is actually pretty good. It lasted me a good eight hours that I was outside the house and it was like, it kept my edges together so for this hairstyle i'm going to be using this crochet right here oh my gosh this is such a beautiful crochet oh my goodness it's so beautiful so i'm going to use that as a ponytail one thing i do like about this crochet hair is it the ends are like curled up so it looks exactly how my hair looks if you know i was to wear it down or in a ponytail like the ends like curls up a little bit that stuff be looking so cute girl <laughs> so cute anyway child so i'm gonna do this hairstyle right here i'm gonna add two of them actually two here i didn't braid the back if i want it i could actually leave it like this and it looks so natural or um you could braid your hair down and then add a ponytail but i didn't want to do that because i wanted my hair to add that little puffiness to the hairstyle that i was gonna do which was this part right here so yeah i used the hair band to puffer that part up and then you know we we move you know we move we twist the hair around it and then we get to the bottom and we do the same thing so with the bottom what i did was i actually used accessories i am going to take these gold well the gold strings and i'm going to fold them in like five sections it depends on how many is in there i'm gonna fold them together well i'm gonna fold them separately you know instead of cutting it i'm gonna fold those strings okay and then once i fold them what i did was i braided them down and they looked like this so what i did with that was i added an extra uh string to it just so i can you know get so i can be able to get a hold of that that uh braided part and then i took that i twisted that around the bottom um part of the hair i tied it up so i can secure the bag because i learned my lesson last time last time my ponytail flew <laughs> and 
it wasn't cute. But uh, whoever got that ponytail, Lord bless you. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to get that. I'm just going to give myself, a, you know, a nice back in the days, ancient vibe. And then just to secure that part, I'm going to take another string. I put it around that whole part. And then I uh, twisted that entire thing just to you know give it a closure but I want it to have like a puffiness to the hair but because I tied everything too tight as far as like the crochet that puffiness wasn't coming out so but yeah the ending of it came out like this um if you want to do it without accessories you can do it without accessories but I personally wanted the hairstyle to look like this so yeah I tied it around I you know dug it up into other strings just to you know secure the bag and then I took extra hair and uh, I think this look would have been a lot better with braiding hair but if you want to give it that natural hair type of look you can definitely use this crochet right here and then I took that part right here and I did a hidden hairband wrap, if that makes sense. Just look at the video, girl. If I'm confusing you, just, just watch the tutorial, girl. I apologize. But yeah, I did that. I did what I showed you guys. I took the hair scarf off. And now this is what I use to get rid of the flyaways. Um, this edge booster thingy is kind of weird like if you put too much of it um, it leaves white residue so you want to use the lesser the better but then again you want it to you know lay everything down so you got to use a lot of it but a lot of it will leave a lot of residue so just to hide that white residue residue or the fuzziness that you know I had to just to hide the fuzziness of the hairs, the ponytail that I had left over, like the layaways and the flyaways, that's what you call it, the flyaways, I decided to just add another hair on top of my other um, cover-up. Honestly, the rest is self-explanatory, so I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this video. If you enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new, and give me some ideas on what type of hairstyle I should do next. And um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and also follow my blog, sign up to my email list, and find me on Instagram, Afi Elizabeth. I'll leave everything down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.